Okay, let's line up our pattern here. I don't know where my ink pen went. There it is. Now I'm going to draw on the side with the hole. Flip it over. Put that. There you have it. The elastics go right there. All right, let's uh, cut these corners off. The goal here is just to get the rid of the excess. When you turn it, there's going to be so much extra fabric in there. Um, I try to stay like an eighth of an inch away from the corner on all sides. This, you got to imagine, every time there is an outside curve, all of the fabric that you see here is going to be bunched up inside that curve. And so this is quite a lot of fabric to be leaving, to be trying to bunch up in, inside there. So I like to just turn that back. There's a lot less fabric to have bunched up in there. This is the oops that I made. See how it takes a little jolt, a jolt to the side? You're not going to see that when I turn it. It's going to be invisible. You don't have to worry about anything on the inside turn because there's more space on this side of the curve than there is on this side, so it's not going to be a problem. I do have one more corner to cut. Next, we will turn this right side out. Just get up in there and turn it. It's that simple. It's like turning your clothes inside out. Grabbing a pair of socks or something, turning them the right direction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to poke my handy dandy screwdriver, not the owl because that will actually poke a hole. You want the screwdriver. You want to shove it up in those corners to make them nice and sharp and tight. Now I'm actually going to do this di diaper just a little bit differently than I did the last one for two reasons. One, I haven't done the elastic casings this way in a while. And two, these wings are actually really, really little. And my elastic, here watch me transfer the marks from the inside of the diaper to the outside of the diaper. Just stick my fingernail on the line and then draw on the fingernail. And these marks are actually really, really far up into the wings. And yesterday I was kind of having some trouble getting my fingers up in there to thread the elastic down through because this diaper is so little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the elastics a different way. And I haven't done it this way in a long time, and so it would be good to 
show you guys an alternate method for inserting the elastics. We're going to do it. Um, actually, I should have left that turned. We're going to do it before we turn. We'll have to repoke those. All right. Now, when that is turned, I'm going to be sewing on the white side. So I'm going to want to pin my elastic also on the one white side. Grab a little bit of elastic here. Now this one is a little bit harder to do it this way because you have to know exactly what size your elastics need to be before you attach them. And to give you an idea of what how long the elastics should be, you should stretch it from one end to the other as tight as it will go. And then give yourself another quarter of an inch or so. And cut that off right there. It seems very tight. But it stretches all the way. Just barely. I think it'll be good. Same with this one. Stretch it all the way. Give yourself another quarter of an inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and cut two of these. I'm going to stretch it real quick because I'll stretch the other one. This will ensure that the two sides are the same. Whether they are the right tightness or not, I would prefer them be exactly the same. I'm going to cut two exactly the same. Now I don't think these three are... Never mind. They're dang close. Almost exactly the same length, just by luck. All right, those two go there, and this one goes here. Let's go back over to the sewing machine. <laughs> 